Boko iko tu na nyambe na chiel kende kende Dickson yeye iko na dada moja ambaye inaitwa sasa iwinja koro Dickson yeye ingine yenye inaitwa sijui yada wewe achana naye yeye ni mikora yeye ilikuwa tu inataka kutafuta sitori yeye sio dada ya bako na yeye hata haijuani na bako umenisikia Dickson kwa hivyo wewe isifikirie mambo ya, ya yada wewe isifikirie hata kwenda kumtafuta iti ikuambie mm yada itakusaidia kwa sababu naona hiyo ndio kitu wewe inaanza kufikiria saa hii wacha kufikiria yada Dickson yada ni sitori tu alikuwa na peana yeye ni gumso tu Dickson wewe itapata dada ya bako wewe isijeni na wewe isikate tamaa Dickson mimi asao na wewe inaanza kuchoka wewe isichoke mapema bado ni mapema sana na vita ndio inaanza Dickson na vile mimi nakwambia hii sio vita ya kimwili ni vita ya kiroho kwa hivyo wewe muda yeyote make sure wewe inapiga swala kabla wewe ijetoka wewe ipige sala asubuhi ipige sala mchana Dickson na ipige sala usiku So hello guys and welcome back at Shiba Mango channel. As you all know, this is the best channel, number one channel full of flavor. Juicy juicy mango mango. Guys, if this is your first time watching at Shiba Mango channel, please don't forget to like the video, share this content, comment apo chini kwa comment section and the most important thing usisa how to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber i really thank you so much for your advices your comfort and everything that you always do for me guys right now as i'm talking to you ni usiku it is at night hata tumefika tu hapa kwangu na director mato tulikuwa na mato uko on the mission on the journey okay guys today siku nimeacha shiba home shiba tukitoka tukitoka tuki, kwenda mission tulienda pamoja na shiba na mtoto na mato so nikaenda nikaacha shiba mahali so that asikuje kusumbuliwa huku na ma relatives i had to leave to take shiba with me nikaenda nikamweka mahali safe mali alilala mali ata mali atatulia mpaka nimchukue jioni so nimepitia huko nikitoka na mato on the mission nimepata nimeambo shiba amelala wakiwa na mtoto nimesema stawa amsha kakuja mpaka kwangu direct tukiwa na mato ata think mato atalalatu hapa kwa kiti guys the journey and the mission was not easy nimezunguka watu wangu i've tried my level best i started by where mahali ule kijana mwenye alikuwa ananipatia the information about bako there is where i started at least yeye ndiye yako na link na angenipatia information about bako ama we about za watu wao cause pale mali bako alikuwa na kama maybe alikuwa anatembelewa na marafiki maybe alikuwa anatembelewa na ma relatives that guy mwenye alikuwa anaitwa Jesse who took me to the river mahali bako alikuwa ameonekana mara ya mwisho so nimefika mpaka huko kwa Jesse that area man alikuwa nimempata nimuulizia Jesse nimepelekwa mpaka kwake nimepata nikaambwa alifungiwa nyumba and there was a guy akanipeleka mali Jesse alikuwa and i found Jesse was so drunk alikuwa mlevi chakari ile hata jelevi alikuwa na mumble two words 
he was just mumbling some words but alinipatia direction mahali naweza pata and mato hata alishindwa ku record that incident cause haiko ina make sense cause huo jamaa ametusumbua sana alikuwa anatuitisha pesa ndiye atuonyeshe location anatuitisha pesa ndiye atuonyeshe mali sister bako wako guys nimezunguka at first nimefika mpaka huruma nimeambiliwa mali sister bako jen alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa wine and spirit huruma in nairobi area so nikachukua migumba ka huko nikaenda mpaka huruma nikamtafuta kwa hiyo wine and spirit then nikaambiwa hapo aliacha ali kazi hapo a friend of her hapo tu kwa kazi akani direct tena mpaka kayole and i can remember so well that sister bako tukiongea naye kwa simu at first aliniambia naishi kayole but singeenda kayole cause kayole ni kubwa singeenda kayole cause sijui location ya kayole so huyo rafiki yake akani direct mpaka kayole at that area mali ali redirect yo kwa in spirit ingine mali anafanya kazi kafika kayole kwa hiyo in spirit nikaongea na watu wengi na watu wengi hapo naulizia Jen naulizia Sasha cause hizo ndio majina aliniambia kwa tukiongea naye kwa kwa phone call cause we didn't talk with her much kwa phone call manzi i'm feeling so tired but guys i must tell you this information before i sleep cause i think you must know nimezunguka i've tried my best nimezunguka kona zote panda gari kwenda huku huku kayole kona zote kayole kona kayole junction hizo hiyo jina hiyo ni spirit is like iko na branches mob so nimezunguka karibu branches zote za hiyo wine and spirits ni wine and spirit kubwa so pale kayole kufika kwa wine and spirit ya mwisho there is a guy hapo nilimpata kichiu tu mira i thought he was joking with me akaniuliza unatafuta sasha nikamwambia eh natafuta sasha unatafuta sasha mgani nikamwambia natafuta sasha mwenye alikuwa anafanya kazi huruma kwa wine and spirit but mimi namjua kama jen sasha jen hiyo ndo jina alikuwa ameniambia so akaniambia sasa je sasha jen afanyi kazi kwa hiyo wine and spirit but delivery zikiletwa anakujanga sometimes hapa na gari kuangusha delivery alafu anarudi kwa ile wine and spirit anafanya kazi so guys nikaenda mpaka kwa hiyo wine and spirit tukiwa na mato mato anaweza hata mato aisiongea na watu wamekaa tu chini hapo kufika hapo kwa wine and spirit nikaambiwa ako off and i really stayed there to be sure if it is the sasha jane mwenye najua cuz miss jaimo na na sijaimo na kwa kwa macho zangu ni sauti tu nilisikia kwa simu sijawahi muona na macho so kufika hapo kwa wine and spirit we nikambi wako off and i really tried to ask for her number around there hakuna mtu alikuwa anataka kunipatia namba yake hawako wana to trust nobody trusted us sijua alikuwa anani kama tunaka suspicious au anani kama tunaka watu investigative police or maybe alikuwa amefanya kesi fulani na wataki kutupatia namba yake wasiseme ati si ndo tumempatiana so i decided we decided to go back home we started the journey kutoka saa ine mchana tumezunguka tumezunguka but atukufanikiwa and right now ndio tunarudi cause imebidi nipitie shiba mpaka mali nilikuwa nimemwacha cause singemwacha huku home nikapata shiba melala so tukachukua gari kasema ni kuje mpaka kwangu guys i really don't know i have tried my level best akotha limtuma kwa hii mission and even you guys mnaweza kumbuka nikijaribu kutafuta bako pale kwa nyumba ya Maxwell i nearly escaped to death karibu hata nikufe nikijipata kwa the wrong room pale it was not my fault cuz i was tensed nikiingia huko the big mansion many rooms i entered the wrong room at karibu nikufe but i'm really trying kuna wale wanaongea vibaya pale kunihusu kuna wale wananitusi but guys i'm trying my level best to make sure 
that I find the answers. At least nieke wazazi wa bako in peace. Nionge tu na sister ya bako. Nione kama atanisikiza. Nione kama atapata na tuna wazazi wa bako. Niwe explain ye everything. And I hope that a court will help me to retrieve the, the body. Even ilikuwa inafika at a point naambia matoo asishoot asishoot anything don't shoot kwa sababu hata ukishoot una shoot and atujapata sister ya bako bado kwa sister ya bako ndio the main reason and the main thing nilikuwa nataka kufanya siko na amani kwa sababu hata shiba nikimleta huku kesho nataka to shift we just shift tutoke hii area cuz Huku nikimwachakiwa peke yake my relatives wana shinda wakikuja huku kumzumbua this family issues i don't want it to go on anymore mtoto tulishamchukua tuko na yeye tutamlea and we will do everything and anything to keep my son safe shiba alikubali atamlea Dixon Wewe ni sikate tamaa leo Wewe ni ilianza hii mission kitambo Kitambo sana Sai wewe isilemewe na chochote Kila kitu itakuwa sawa Mungu itaraisisa hii story Kitu ambayo wewe inapaswa kufanya ni kuamini tu Dickson. Amini. Kuwa na imani. Na kabla wewe hijatoka kwa nyumba. Fanya kuomba Dickson. Jambo la kwanza wewe inapaswa kufanya ni kuomba Dickson. Pega sala kwanza ndio wewe itanguliswe. Wewe imenisikia? Dickson. Wakati wewe ilienda huko kwa nyumba ya Maxwell. Wewe ilianza na room mbaya kwa sababu wewe iliogopa. Dickson, to uoga. Wewe ito uoga kabisa. Kabisa. Iwinda Dickson. Wewe kwansa kwa mjasiri. Wewe amini. Jiamini Dickson. Jiamini na kila kitu itakuwa sawa. Dickson. Wewe isikumbuke mambo ya nyuma. Hiyo ilisapita. Na muda umekwisa Dickson. Wewe isiangalie mambo ya nyuma yenye ilisatendeka. Hiyo ilisatendeka isatendeka. Iwinja Dickson. Mimi leo imeona jinsi wewe imejaribu na imetia bidii sana. Mimi nimefurahiswa Dickson. Kwa sababu mimi siku ya mwisho kutoka hapa. Mimi nilikuwa nimeambia wewe ifanye jambo mbili mara moja. Wewe ihandle familia yenu na wewe ikitafuta wasafi ya bako. Lakini wewe ikasahau na wasasi ya bako ikaangasia tu familia yenye Dickson. Ndio maana mimi likasiriswa. Mimi ikakasiriswa sana kwa sababu muda inayoyoma ya mimi kutoka hapa. 
Lakini wewe isijali Dickson. Mungu iko na wewe. Umenisikia Dickson? Na Dickson. Nataka nikwambie kitu moja. Bako. Iko tu. Na nyembe na chill kende. Kende Dickson. Yeye iko na dada moja. Ambaye inaitwa Sasa. Yeye ndiye. Kuro Dickson. Yeye ingine yenye inaitwa sijui Yada. Wewe achana naye, yeye ni mikora. Yeye ilikuwa tu inataka kutafuta sitori. Yeye sio dada ya bako na yeye hata haijuani na bako. Umenisikia Dickson? Kwa hivyo wewe isifikirie mambo ya, ya yada. Wewe isifikirie hata kwenda kumtafuta iti ikuambie. Mm -mm. Yada itakusaidia kwa sababu naona hiyo ndio kitu wewe inaanza kufikiria saa hii. Wacha kufikiria yada Dickson. Yada ni sitori tu. Alikuwa na peana yeye ni gumso tu. Dickson. Wewe itapata dada ya bako. Wewe isijeni na wewe isikate tamaa. Dickson, mimi asao na wewe inaanza kuchoka. Wewe isichoke mapema. Bado ni mapema sana. Na vita ndiyo inaanza Dickson. Na vile mimi nakwambia hii sio vita ya kimwili ni vita ya kiroho kwa hivyo wewe muda yeyote make sure wewe inapiga swala kabla wewe ijetoka wewe ipige sala asubuhi ipige sala mchana Dickson na ipige sala usiku umenisikia Dickson wewe isijeni. Sisi iko na wewe. Sisi na kuangalia Dickson. Na kwa wakati huu hakuna kitu kibaya itakufanyikia. Wewe angalia tu utasame na wewe itaona Dickson. Wewe isifikirie vitu mingi. Wakati wewe inaenda kufanya mison. Fikiria tu hiyo mison peke yake Dickson. Wewe isifikirie vitu mingi. Na Dickson, wewe iache stress. Misasi yako iko sawa. Na misasi yako nyinyi Mungu akipanga nyinyi itakuja kusikilisana vizuri. Vizuri. Kwa hivyo Dickson, wewe isikuwe na wasiwasi. Umenisikia? Misasi yako siku moja Mungu akikubali itasikizana na siba. Itamusikiliza Dickson. Wewe angalia tu siba na mitoto yake. Umenisikia? Wewe isiwaachilie. Na wewe isikate tamaa. Na wewe isiende tena usago Dickson. Umenisikia Dickson? Mimi leo sina maneno Dickson na wewe. Mimi nimekuja kwa usuri kwa sababu mimi naona wewe inajaribu kufanya juhudi kuhusu ile mambo mimi ilikuwa imekwambia Dickson. Ongea na mlokosi. Dickson. My son, my son, don't be afraid, my son. Dickson, tunakuangalia kila mahali na kila jambo unalopitia. 
my son we are together tuko pamoja na wewe my son Dixon hakuna jambo lolote lilandoweza kutatiza ama kuingilia kati ya wewe na Shiba Sawa sawa Dixon Sisi meondoka wewe ikaenda amani ya Bwana Dixon kwa eri Guys According to what accords ameniambia hapo it is ni kweli cuz nilikuwa nishaanza ku lose hope nilikuwa nimeona ni kama it's like mwenye alikuwa amenipigia simu hapo kwa alitoa namba hapa akanipigia simu alitoa namba kwa YouTube akanipigia simu akijita Sasha Jane I thought ni kama tu cloud chaser nikafikiria ni kama mtu mtu tu ananidanganya ati yeye ni sister ya bako akinipigia simu akiwanalia akiwa na huzuni hata nilikuwa nimeanza kufikiria kufikiria labda sasa nitafute yada maybe it's true that yada ndiye anaweza kuwa ni sister ya bako but bado sikuwa na ridhika na yada kumbe yada sio sister ya bako i thought that Yada ndiyo sister ya bako. So it was just a cloud, cloud chasing at Yada ana create stories akisema ati ni sister ya bako pale wakiwa wakiwa na Maxwell. But I'm very grateful kusikia mpaka Muloko zibado on my side. Na ananiambia nisiachilie shiba on what I cannot do. Siwezi kubali kuachilia shiba no matter what. And at least akota amenipatia sign. Siku na imagine anaweza nitokeleze usiku masaa kasa hii. But at least akot is giving me signs that Sasha Jane. Huyo tu mwenye tulikuwa tumeongea naye kwa simu akaniambia ni tu Sasha Jane. Yeye ndio sister ya bako. At least I'll go back tomorrow. Tomorrow I must go back. Kesho lazima nirudi mpaka hapo Kayole. Maybe atakuwa Maybe atakuwa amerudi kazi. Hata kama alikuwa na ninyi namba yake cuz namba yake nilipoteza. Maybe ndampata tu by by surprise tu. Akiona ni mimi maybe atanikumbuka cuz alini watch. Alini watch hapa kwa YouTube tukiongea na Bako and I can decide to call cuz I was the last person who talked to tobacco. Ndio bako and missing. I think I must I must go and look for bako. For sisters for bako sister Kesho. So guys if this was your first time watching at Shiba Mango channel please don't forget to like share this content comment just comment anything apo chini kwa comment section just say anything guys you can just tell me anything your advices kama vile nafanya ni vibaya you can just tell me anything that you want cause there some people who talk negatively and there some people who talk positively i take all comments zote huwa nasoma guys and the main important thing guys msikose ku subscribe just subscribe to keep us motivated on the same journey and on the same direction matu